Mabuhay from the beautiful city of Manila, I'm Pak Wetzel from the channel Fragrance RX and today we will be reviewing and smelling these wonderful fragrances from the house of Ferrari. Well, these are the only Ferraris that I can afford so what are we waiting for? Let's start smelling these fragrances. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Derek King, my good friend, for lending me these wonderful fragrances, this wonderful lineup from the house of Ferrari. Take note that I do not own, I do not have the whole Ferrari lineup, I only have here some of the best sellers from their Essence line. First, let's start with this fragrance, Leather Essence. Now, this fragrance was released in 2013 and the perfumer of this one is Alexandra Carlin. Now, this one is a leather fragrance. So, how does this smell like? Let's spray this one in this, again, my brain paper. Here, my brain paper. Okay, so for the initial spray of this leather essence, I actually smell this one already, this leather essence, and I really like it. Unfortunately, this leather essence is very hard to find here in the Philippines, so you can find it abroad in international fragrance communities and international gray market sites. So in the initial spray of Ferrari leather essence, I can smell the very sweet leather in it. Now this leather is not comparable to the leather of let's say Tom Ford Tuscan leather or the Max Mac Heroin, those strong leather fragrances. This leather is very sweet. Yes, very sweet, very gentle leather. Now I can see this one as a very versatile fragrance. You can wear this one best on the cooler weather, but as what I said a while ago, this one is a very versatile fragrance. You can wear this one anytime, anywhere, any place. So I will just base my my review on this one to my nose. I didn't look at the notes of these fragrances. So I will just use my bare nose to describe this fragrance. And this Ferrari Leather Essence is a very sweet, gentle leather, which is wearable. Now moving on to our next fragrance we have here, Ferrari Cedar Essence. Now this one was released in 2014 and the perfumer of this one is Natalie Face Tower. Now Fragrantica classifies this fragrance as a marine citrus fragrance. So let's smell this fragrance. Now this one I do not own. Again, thanks to Mr. Derrick King for lending me your Ferrari fragrances. And it really is a very citrus fragrance. Right off the bat, I can really smell the citrus in it. The marine notes this somehow is a smells generic to my nose and this is perfectly worn to in my opinion in the summer in the high heat of the summer and this again is a very versatile fragrance because you can wear this anytime anywhere any place I don't know about the performance of this one of these fragrances I only own Ferrari Bright Neroli and I previously own Noble Fig so I can attest that this brightener only lasts on my skin for about 4 to 6 hours, so, but we will tackle it later on. This cedar essence is a very citrus fragrance. You can smell the marine notes in it. So yes, this, this can be worn by any age group as well. And this is a dumb rich fragrance. You can wear this one anytime, anywhere, any place, any season. Next we have here Ferrari Essence Oud. Now this fragrance was released in 2012 and the perfumer of this one is again Natalie Face Tower. Now Fragrantica classifies this fragrance as a oud balsamic leather fragrance. So let's smell this fragrance. Again, these are just my first impressions with regards to these fragrances. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. As expected, it's oud, but the oud in this essence oud is somehow sour. Yes, I can smell the leather in it. So the two main notes of this fragrance to my nose are leather and oud. However, the oud in this Ferrari Leather Essence is kind of sweet, kind of sour, and this is a gentle oud. It's not comparable to, let's say, Kalimat Black, wherein, and, or like Sense Story 24 Gold, wherein the oud is right on your face, punches you in the face. Not like that. This oud is a gentle oud, yes. I can see this fragrance as not projecting because it stays closer to in fact, in when I smell when I'm smelling this paper, I need to put my nose closer to this piece of paper in order for me to smell this essence oud. So I can't see this one as projecting much. 
So this can be perfectly worn as a date scent. Yes, as a date scent and in cooler weather, cooler environment, temperature controlled environment. So yes, leather and oud. These are the two main notes of Ferrari Essence Oud. Next on the list, we have Ferrari Noble Fig. Now, I previously owned a bottle of this Noble Fig. Well, I first had this Bright Neroli, then I said to myself, why not collect the entire Ferrari line? So, I got this Noble Fig and it, I'll tell you guys, it's the worst blind buy. Well, I didn't like it. So, let's see if I like it this time this noble fig well i really like the sprayers of ferrari it's very gentle with just a few efforts there you can already spray a lot of juice so this one uh, i do not know the perfumer of this one but fragrantica classifies this one as a fig and clean fragrance yeah as expected <laughs> I do not like the scent of this one. This reminds me of the one you use in the car freshener, the pine tree, like that. So yes, I tried to love wearing this fragrance. I wore it a couple of times, but eventually, well, it's really not my liking. It's not, it's not good to my nose and I sold it. At the end of the day, I sold it. I sold it to one of my friends. Yeah, like some plasticky smell on the initial spray. There's fig, there's a lot of fig. This is a fig bomb, but eventually it will develop into this somehow plasticky smell. There, the plastic smell, which I really don't like. I think it's something to do with the woods. Woody, this is a, since it's noble fig, it's somehow woody. So there's fig, plasticky, woody scent. So imagine that, guys. Wow, I can't describe it anymore because I really don't like the scent. So let's move on to the next fragrance, Bright Neroli. Next on the list, we have here Ferrari Bright Neroli. Now, heads up, this is my favorite among these fragrances. So like what they say, save the best for last. So Ferrari Bright Neroli, this is my first Ferrari fragrance of all. And I love wearing these fragrances because it's a very white floral fragrance. In fact, Fragrantica classifies this fragrance as a white floral citrus fresh fragrance. Now, this was released in 2015 alongside with this bright uh, noble fig. Now, I came in prepared. I brought here my official sampler of Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. There, because why? Because Ferrari Bright Neroli is being compared to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. They say that. This one, Bright Neroli, is a clone of good alternative, in fact, to Neroli Portofino. And let's try to smell this one and see if it's true. Okay. Ah, guys, the smell of it. The smell of Ber Ferrari Bright Neroli is really, really relaxing. Mm, it's a lot. Yes, it's Neroli. It's a Neroli bomb. On the initial spray and when I wear this fragrance it's a very linear linear one when it dries down you will still smell the real neroli in it it doesn't develop that much the longevity of this one as what I mentioned a while ago is about four to six hours on my skin so you really have to bring with you a decant to to, to respray when it's about six hours already now as, my, as what I mentioned a while ago, let's we will compare we will compare this one to Neroli Portofino of Tom Ford. Okay, this one is given to me by Alex, Mr. Alex Gutierrez of Scented Introvert. I'll link his profile down below. So thank you so much, Mr. Alex, for giving me this sampler of Neroli Portofino. So Neroli Portofino. Okay. Smelling these two fragrance side by side. I like Neroli Portofi- Neroli? No, Bright Neroli. I like Bright Neroli better compared to Neroli Portofino. Neroli, Neroli Portofino has some dark notes in it. Like, it reminds me of a toilet cleaner. Sorry, sorry guys for those who love Neroli Portofino. But I'm, I'm really reminded of one of my my bathroom cleaners that the one that I use for cleaning the toilet with Neroli Portofino I don't know if this one is 
um, yeah it smells it really smells like a bathroom cleaner sorry guys sorry to those who love Neroli Portofino so much it's my opinion so don't don't get mad at me don't bash me guys now this Ferrari bright Neroli really smells good guys I really love smelling this one it relaxes me when I spray this one and this one is perfect for the summer season now that we're coming to the summer season this April March April where it's very hot when you spray this bright neroli you will freshen up the environment everyone who smells you will feel so fresh will feel so good when they smell you with this one Ferrari Ferrari bright neroli and if they say that Ferrari Bright Neroli is a good alternative to Neroli Portofino, well, damn yes it is. It's better, in fact, to Neroli Portofino in my opinion. Yeah, I will rather pick up Ferrari Bright Neroli than Neroli Portofino. That's it guys. These are just my first impressions with regards to this fragrance as by the house of Ferrari, this best sellers from their house. Again, I would like to thank Mr. Derrick King for providing me these fragrances for making this video possible. These are just my opinions and my first impressions with regards to these fragrances. So don't bash me guys, with, yeah, especially with the Neroli Portofino. It's just my nose, so <laughs> don't bash me. Let's talk about these fragrances. Put your comments down below and again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Fragrance RX. Again, this is Wetzel for the channel Fragrance RX, your fragrance doctor. See you in the next video. Have a nice day and stay fragrant!